That's ridiculous. There's no way I would be able to move him. You're just doing this to him? I'm on his hands, actually. And you're trying to, and you were able to push him doing this? Well, you, you were watching. Push. There's no way that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's no way I would be able to move him. Hi, I'm Julius Lutero. I'm a Tai Chi teacher. I'm a also a direct student and a master Adam Meisner. Tai Chi and meditation master who him and his system has founded Heaven Man Earth International Tai Chi School. So I teach at the Perth branch of that school in uh, Western Australia. So we're here to talk about a new film. I'm going to give it a, a bit of a review and share some info. It's called The Power of Chi. So it's uh, a film where the directors invited these elite athletes of all different disciplines from around the world and he's asked Adam Meisner to not use martial art techniques but just use the chi so the purpose of the film is to try to show some demonstrations of how chi affects and destabilizes a hard force so there's a few yang style players in this film and we're going to be talking about master Adam Meisner pictured here, who, as I said, is the founder of Heaven Man Earth International Tai Chi School. He teaches the Ni Gong and the internal elements of Tai Chi, which in my experience I've found is often missing in other schools. So you can see here his palm is on top of the partner there. So he's demonstrating some sticking and harmonizing skill with the opponent's force. This is Brian Shaw, world's strong man. I think three years in a row, and also the only guy to win the Arnold Schwarzenegger and the World Strongman in one year. He's six eight and two hundred kilos, so I picked that shot because you can see he's just a mountain. <laughs> he's a large man. You're looking at the greatest strongman we've ever seen. About to display his colossal strength. Let's go, champ! Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger would like to personally shake your hand. Let's see if this man mountain is indeed immovable. Wow. It's even more extraordinary when you see that Adam is not even taking a stance. He's not even transferring his weight from his back leg to his front leg. His feet are side by side, yet he's moving Brian with ease. So I just wanted to illustrate here and show that Adam's in a square stance there. So we call it a neutral stance. So in that stance, if you try it yourself, you have very little power to stop any incoming force. So here's another angle where you can see that Brian's in a long stance. So he's very stable there. And Adam, so again, this is a demonstration of Adam omitting Tai Chi abilities or skills so there's the line along his heels so he's at a, a huge disadvantage here with anyone let alone with the mountain that is brian shaw <laughs> so there's a direction of force of the stance of brian the natural direction of force is where you can see the arrow now so brian wasn't asked to push on adam he was asked to not let adam push him but even so, under those conditions, if you try pushing on someone like, and I mean anyone, like even a 15-year-old with a neutral stance like that against them in a full long stance, you will actually bounce out on that same line of the direction of the force there that's in that picture. So Adam's at a major disadvantage here. So hence he's using his internal skills he's using his internal ability to neutralize brian's force and then from his feet to be able to emit chi through his body to affect brian's strength and size and structure and stability Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> How does that feel? It's 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 really different, really different. It's different. Yeah. You would assume that I could just hold, yes, and not move, but it's like he'll. It's like you take me one direction and then you channel that somehow, and then we go back the other way. But instead of being able to stop the movement the other way, we go harder the other way. It's kind of nuts. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Obviously, I have leverage here, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so really stable and strong. Right? Okay. We talk about a quality we call joining. To join means to become one, to harmonize. In, in these arts, we look for a harmony. We say harmony defeats intensity. It's not about being more, more powerful, stronger, faster, but to harmonize with the outer force that's upon you, whether that's another person or whatever it is to become one with it. Then, yes, because we're one, I can change the relationship that we have with each other, and that can affect the other person at my will. I just can't completely stop it. Right. You're very good at, at, uh, at what you're doing, obviously, so it's, it's not easy, you know, for me to just stay in one place. Right. No. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it's awesome. Cool. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. I lived. <laughs> so something just to be noted in this next clip, Tim Morehouse is still 6'2 and 200 pounds and an Olympic champion fencer. So he's no slouch. He's trained his whole career in balance and stability and, you know, being able to lunge with massive force towards his opponent to the level where he's winning in Olympic standard. You're just doing this to him? I'm on his hands, actually. And you're trying to, and you were able to push him doing this? Well, you, you were watching. Push. There's no way that <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's no way I would be able to move him. It's crazy. It's almost like when you're doing it, I'm thinking, how is this happening? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. So it's almost like you guys are testing me, but I'm like testing you too, because I'm like, okay, I just want to make sure there's not something wrong with me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> a weightlifter, right? Okay. If they tensed, it would be really easy for me. Gotcha. But, because then you're generally, I mean, like a bodybuilder, not a weightlifter, sorry, a bodybuilder. Sure, because yeah. they're doing a, a, just a single Isolated. joint. But Isolated. you're the opposite of that. It's so connected in your body. Yeah. That when you tense, your whole body's connected. Sure. But like at your typical bodybuilder, when they tense, it's all shoulders and biceps or something. Totally. Then totally. that's easy for me. Interesting. But it's different because you're so connected in your core. And you can, you can sense that or feel yeah, that? I can or... feel that, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> that, is, that is awesome, man. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it, a demonstration of being able to destabilize a huge human, <laughs> let alone normal humans, um, with no stance, no martial art techniques being used, just the power of the internal skill, uh, mobilizing the chi through the body to affect the other person's center or central equilibrium. So just add a note here that, you know, some people with this kind of thing, they'll say, oh, but that wouldn't work in fighting. Or something. And so it's important to just make the distinction that that kind of outlook is redundant because this film is about showing Chi and so therefore he's specifically not using fighting techniques. If he did, it would be far more advantageous for him. So this element of the training, whilst it is an underpinning important principle, it's one element of a whole system and a whole skill set. So to to say that this wouldn't work in fighting application, it's a bit like me saying, seeing a boxer skipping and saying, oh, that wouldn't work in, in a real fight. Like it's just one element of the training that develops the skill. So there you have it. If uh, this kind of thing interests you, check out Heaven, Man, Earth and the links below. Uh, Sifu Adam has a, an amazing online course called Discover Tai Chi that takes you basically from zero to internal skill. Uh, it goes over five years, releases one video each week. So it's a huge body of work. It's, a, it's an amazing legacy. 
And then there's the branch schools around the world. Uh, you can check that out on the Heaven, Man, Earth site on the schools heading in the website. So other than that, I hope that sheds a little bit of light on this film because this stuff, you know, has is traditionally a little bit mystical and uh, rarely demonstrable. Um, so, yeah, hope that helps. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.